Hi guys, um, this is Simply Monique. In case you're wondering why I have my hair in these little crazy plaits, I freshly washed my hair and conditioned it last night and I did my little stretch method overnight. And today what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do some mini twists in my hair. I did do some mini twists or medium twists in my hair and they turned out pretty good but I did not record those because that was my first time so today I'm going to attempt to do some smaller twists I won't call them mini twists maybe small twists um, so I'm going to attempt to do those and um, I decided to record and take you guys on this journey with me I wanted to do mini twists to kind of or small twists to kind of keep my hands out of my hair so my hair can retain um, more of its length because you know the less manipulation in your hair the more you're able to retain your length because our hair does grow is making sure that our hair is actually retaining its length so I hope you guys enjoy if you have not subscribed to my channel I ask that you would hit the subscribe button and if this is not your first time joining welcome back to my channel thank you so much for your support so we're going to get into this video so stay tuned okay guys some of the products that I will be using and tools I'm going to use this end here just to pot my hair making sure I have a defined part i um, going to use some bobby pins uh, just to kind of clip my hair out of the way um, so it doesn't get tangled I'm going to use, this is just water in this bottle. I did have some condition, leave-in conditioner, but I'm going to use water as my leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm going to use some Shea Moisture um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie just as my cream. And then I'm going to use some coconut oil as my oil. Probably use this, or I may use my blend which my uh, herbal oil, herbal oil by African's Best that has a number, numerous amount of oils in it. And then for my styler, I'm going to use uh, my main choice, um, the Ancient Egyptian 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel as my styler. So as so, you can, I have further divided my hair I did these two pieces here because I created somewhat of a side side part and then a middle part and by doing that it's just kind of going to give me options if I want to wear my hair my twist to the side like this creating kind of like that little oh, I'm sorry this way <laughs> creating like a little swoosh bang or if I want to wear my hair down the middle so that's the purpose of these two so we're going to get started um, let me just hopefully you guys can see me pretty good my tripod I need to buy another tripod because it still isn't working I'm going to just pin these two out of the way here excuse me now I'm not going to use that much of water because I don't want my hair to um, shrink up um, too much so I'm just going to go ahead and take this one loose. And my hair is already detangled. Um, I made sure I detangle my hair well. But you can always finger detangle or you can use your Y2 comb. So what I'm going to do is just lightly, when I say lightly, I mean really, really lightly, probably just focus mostly on the ends, just a light, light spray of water and just smooth that down my hair shafts here because I don't want my hair to shrink. And then I'm going to get just a little bit of my Shea Moisturizer, Shea, um, Shea Moisture Enhancing Curling Smoother. Probably about this much here. Because you want to make sure your hair is really moisturized in um, doing the style with your mini twists. 
okay and then I'm going to use a little bit of the coconut oil I might just do both because again you want your hair to be very very moisturized with this with this style smooth that down okay so now I'm going to form a row and if you see me looking up here I'm looking at my mirror and you want to I've seen some videos when some some people did not part their hair make sure they, they had a, a straight part and then some did um, and some of them say they're not going to do a part because they won't, don't want to have spaces some people say it's best to do defined parts that way when your hair grows out um, you won't have the you won't have the trouble of it um, getting tangled and I'm going to finish parting this and I'll come back okay guys so I have section off my hair Ooh, I don't know if I want this small my lord okay let's give it a try all right so now I'm gonna take a little bit of my twisting gel the 24 karat glistening twisting gel by main choice and I'm just going to oh that's too much okay and I'm just going to put it on the whole shaft of my hair okay and then you want to split these two sorry my hands in the way you want to make sure that they are even because you don't want to have to borrow hair and they're pretty much even so then you just start it start it <laughs> you just start twisting and you want to twist kind of tight because you want you want it to be as neat as possible so I'm going to kind of like you see how I'm pulling each time I twist and that's kind of going to create my roots to be tight and for me to have a, a neat twist I don't know I don't know if this is too small I may want to do it do them bigger we'll see because when it's time to take them down I do not want to have to take forever to get them out of my hair you know but by making sure that they're even um, it'll be an easier takedown process uh oh felt like I got some flies flyaways but Take care of that in a moment. You just want to keep going all the way down. You don't really want to leave any loose ends because if you plan on styling or having your twist in for some weeks, um, you, you want to make sure the ends are. Um, twist it all the way so that's our first twist guys okay so we're going to continue and get another piece of hair and I'm going to get some more of my gel here and we're just going to continue the process Move that all the way down. You want to make sure when you separate the hair that they're even in length all the way down. So 
so you can have an easier takedown process. Ooh. Uh -oh. Look like I'm grabbing hair from the other part. Okay. So then start at the roots and twist. Remember, you want to twist tightly so your roots can be neat and flat. And there is several YouTubers um, with this style on their channel. I watch Kinky, I think her name is Kinky Twist. Is it Kinky Twist or Kinky Curls? It's either Kinky Twist or Kinky Curl 1980. Um, she's good. Um, is it Natural? Natural 01? If I'm saying their names incorrectly, I will list the, the YouTubers who channels I watched um, that inspired me to do this. I will put their um, their names in the description box below because I may be I don't want to get their names incorrect. So you guys, I'm going to continue to do this, um, and it's I know I'm not going to finish all of this in one day because um yeah you see how small they are and um yeah i'm not going to sit here for two and three and four hours well four and five hours <laughs> some people say it took them like two hours three hours the other twist that i had in my hair it took me about three hours and they weren't nowhere near as small as these so i'm quite sure it's going to take me a couple of days so that's why I'm starting at the front. That way I can kind of camouflage the back and the middle. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to continue to do this, and um, I'll come back and show you guys my process. Okay, guys, so I have finished the front portion of my hair with my twists. As you can see, they're very shiny. Um, how I created the little curl at the ends... Um, after I twisted all the way down, I just simply took my finger and just kind of like twirled it a little bit. Um, so, so far, I like the way they look. They look very neat. Um, and as you see, they are quite small. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really digging them. I like them a lot. Yep, yep, yep. So... Just wanted to come on and show you guys my um, my progress. Let me get you closer here so you can see them. So you see they look very neat. Some of them are larger than others, well smaller than others. Um, but can't really tell once they all blend in. So I just wanted to give you a closer view. And um... Yeah, so I have lots more to go, guys. I have all of this left. <laughs> and um, it, it probably, because I kind of like been taking my time, um, probably took me about maybe an hour or hour and 30 minutes to do this front portion. But, you know, that's why I started in the front first, so I can kind of like camouflage it a little bit. I can um, pin this back, and then I can put the rest of my hair in a puff ball or something like that. Um, if I don't get finished, but I'm going to continue to work on some more. I'm going to take a little break, but I wanted to come and show you guys my progress so far. So the next time I come on camera, um, I will probably be completed with all of my hair and I'll show you how it, the rest of it looks. So stay tuned and I'm excited you guys. And, um, it really, I mean, Yes, my fingers are hurting, but I didn't really come and show you guys a whole lot of the technique because it's the same as a twist out. The only thing is you're doing them um, smaller and um, you really want to pay attention and make sure your hair is even, which that is the same 
when you're doing your twist and you're going to convert it to a twist out. That way it's easier to unravel without causing a lot of knots and a lot of frizz. So it's pretty much the same technique. Again, you're just doing them smaller and you want to twist them uh, as far as that far, as far down as you can um, preferably the entire thing that way you won't have your hair coming in loose because I plan to wear these for some weeks I'm probably about maybe a good four weeks or something like that but anyways once I come back on camera my entire hair will be done and uh, maybe we can play with a little bit of styling all right y'all stay tuned Woo. Okay, guys, I am finally finished with my hair. OMG. You guys, it took me all day long to finish my hair. Wow. I'm tired. <laughs> my fingers are hurting. Um, but it was all worth it. Here's my hair. I am holding my camera, so if you see a little bit of shaking, shakiness of my camera, that's why. Um, but this is my hair you guys it turned out absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna give you a 360. This is the front Here's my right side Here is My left side and I'm gonna try to get the back. Don't know if you can see it That's my back. Oh You can't see it. Hold on. Let's let's do it this way. Well, I'll just insert a picture. I will have to insert um, a photo of the back of my hair because clearly I cannot film, record the back of my hair accurately um, with holding my camera. But you guys, I am in love. It has a lot of body. As you can see, I can shake it. I can pull it up. I can pin it like this to one side. I mean, it's very, this style is very versatile and it's a protective style in a sense. Well, it is a protective style because it keeps me from manipulating my hair so much. Um, I mean, of course, um, I will still be in my hair if I pinned it up, but I'm not like raking through my hair. I mean, I'm literally just picking it up and pinning my hair back. I'm not like pushing, you know, uh, uh, putting my hands through my strands um, and things of that nature but I love it I love it so much I'm so happy again it did take me all day to do this however um, my outcomes are very very much worth it so um, yeah I plan on probably doing a series with these twists in my hair because I'm gonna probably keep them in my hair for about maybe about four weeks um, and of course I will have to moisturize my hair, wash my hair, um, and all of that good stuff. So I will come on and, uh, do a video, um, with those things that I do as well as styling my hair. I'm not sure what all styles I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to record that as well. So things that you have to, um, what you have to look forward to, there it is in this little small series that I will do is how I moisturize my hair nightly, um, how I keep my twists stretched, um, also to make pretty much the maintenance of my hair with styling. Those are some of the videos that I will be doing while I have these twists in my hair. So um, just comment below and um, let me know what you think and definitely link me in your video if you will give this style a try yourself. I love it you guys. It is so wonderful and as I stated before I'm going to try to insert a photo of the back of my hair because I can't um, I can't really record it uh, fully so you can see it the back of my hair but I have maybe one or two space issues back here but I can kind of cover it up but anyways I'm not gonna ramble on because I don't want this video to be super super long but you guys, it's amazing. I love it. Look at there. Love it, love it, love it. And it's best to do, well, I won't say it's best, but I tend, I did it on um, scratched hair, scratched dry hair, which I did spritz it with a little bit of water um, just on my ends. 
um because i didn't want to i still do have a lot of shrinkage in my hair but if i would have done it wet or damped it i would have more shrinkage than this because my hair shrink a whole 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 lot probably about mm, 85 percent of my hair shrinks when if i don't stretch it out right now it's probably about a good maybe uh 20 percent um shrinkage something like that but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for photos at the end and definitely stay tuned to my uh series of videos that i will be doing with the maintenance and the styling of these twists all right you guys stay true to yourself and love yourself this is simply unique Mwah. okay guys so this is the way that i had to record the back of my hair can see it's really really bouncy really bouncy and this is the little space I'm a flame you're a fire I'm a dark in need of light when we touch you inspire feel the change in me tonight so take me up take me higher there's a world not far from here We can dance in desire We can burn in love tonight Things that you are, let me see, how can I say it?